nerf. Cheers. Welcome back here again with yet another video, as you can tell, because obviously I've not changed my shirt or my location. The strong arm, one of uh, Nerf's elite, Nerf elite's newest uh, newest weapons. Uh, it is basically a brand new Maverick, as you can tell by the design and the shape. This is called the Strong Arm REV6, and yeah, again, it's like the Maverick, the old rotating barrel, the nice handed primer. In the old Maverick, they had a tactical rail on the primer, which was a bit stupid because you're not going to have a scope and try and do that because it'll slide off and you're like, fuck's sake. Whereas the tactical rail now is along the top of the gun, which is a more sensible option. It's about here, actually. It's not that long, but it's about this long. So it's nice. It's a good size. You can get a decent thing on there. Uh, there are a lot of similarities to the Maverick. It has its one drop barrel switch here, which is nice. What I do like about the barrel is you can do that. I know with Maverick you, there were kind of problems with uh, spinning it. Um, the first thing I noticed here was this massive gap here in the barrels. I'm not, it, it's confusing a little bit, but whatever, no biggie. It um, takes six elite darts, which I quite like. Let's, let's load this thing up, why not? Because there is actually something that I really want to show you about the, uh, the Maverick's new barrel and the new firing style, because in the old Maverick, when you used to pop in a, a random shot and then close the barrel, it would be right in the firing hole. Then you'd pull it back, and you'd be like, ah, shit, the barrel's rotated, I forgot about that. And then you'd fire, and you'd fire a blank, and then you'd have to retry, and by then you would have got tagged. Whereas this gun, as you know when I've primed it, the barrel hasn't actually rotated. So what we do is, you fire, and then the barrel rotates after you fire. Which I like. So if I you know, if I demonstrate that again, there you go. That's in the empty position. Prime it. Hasn't turned. And there we go. It's turned. That I think is amazing. I think that's a really nice thing that they've done there. So that's pretty much when it comes to that. It is much lighter than the Maverick, to say the least. It's a lot more comfortable. Uh, the handle is a kind of the same. Uh, for my hands, this sloping ridge here on my thumb is a little too low. It's, it's kind of hitting the knuckle a bit, which is a little uncomfortable. But other than that, it's 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 a good sized gun. I think people with, with uh, like smaller hands will probably do better because I prefer rifles. I'm more of a rifleman than I am when it comes to sidearms. But if, if you're a sidearm person and you've got a little bit smaller hands than I do, then you, you won't have a problem with this. Um, the styling here, I've actually just noticed, is the barrel, is how, how smooth that is. How nice and sort of it slowly goes out, like, you know. Whereas the old Maverick, it kind of came out like, a, like someone's hips or something. It was like, ooh, don't know about that, that's a bit weird. But, yeah, um, I don't really think that there's much else to mention about this gun. The name, Strong Arm, kind of cool, I like that. The styling, the colours look kind of nice. Obviously, I'm going to paint this thing, <coughs> but, um... I think that is actually pretty much all I've got to say about that. I'm trying to think to make sure I've covered everything. Elite 75 feet. There we are, I'm done. <laughs> right, what have I got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm missing it. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool, got that. Yeah, right, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so that's the strong arm. I uh, hope you like that one. I will now be signing off because I have yet still one more nerf gun to demonstrate and we're going to go to that now. So I'm signing off again and I'll see you in a momentum.